Welcome back to Moody Smoothies, guys. Today we're going to create a smoothie for you that's gonna target fat, not just in the abdominal region, but fat everywhere. And the main dilemma when we're trying to cut fat is where we tend to get malnourished, we tend to, to feel drawn, not have the energy levels that we want to get through the day. So what we want to do is make sure that your vitamins and minerals circulating through your blood are enough to sustain energy levels throughout the day and keep you feeling fresh. Okay, so let's start off with our base. I like to use coconut water earlier in the day and I just use water in the evening. It's great for the electrolytes. Okay, my assistant Zane is going to help me do that. Can you pour that in for me, Zane? All of it, yep. Yeah. Almost there, almost there. Good boy. Okay, and today we're going to use a certified organic pea protein. We're gonna use four tablespoons of this, which is one serving. It's, although it is a, a vegan protein, Passion Projects make sure that they've got all the essential amino acids in there. I'm gonna do that. Okay, just in there. Good boy. We're gonna do that three more times. One. Two, that's okay. And last one. Four. So all the amino acids are in this pea protein. If you would prefer to use a whey protein, just use a vanilla base to keep the flavor consistent. We're gonna use some cashews. The reason for the cashews is the essential fats. We've got to make sure that this is high in essential fats to fight fat. But we also want things like, come on, Zane. Vitamin E for our skin. Let's put some more in there. Good boy. And we're also going to add some dried apricots. Put some apricots for me. Now you know that these are organic just from the color of them. They're not your typical apricot that's orange and being brightened using sulfur. Good boy, one more. We're also going to use some hemp seeds. Now hemp, is, hemp seeds are quite high in essential fats and high in amino acids also, the building blocks for our muscle tissue to grow and expand in size. The more muscle you have, the quicker your metabolism gets the harder it is for fat to come back. The last thing we want is to fight fat, get it off, and have it come back. We want to keep it off. Okay, that's okay, Zane. We've got some goji berries for added antioxidants. They're quite rich in antioxidants. Zane's favorite fruit, strawberries, for more antioxidants, and to give it a nice, sweet flavor. When you're gonna, we're gonna be adding quite a few greens to speed up the metabolism. And when you've got so many greens, it tends to have quite a bitter flavor. So we wanna keep things sweet, but we wanna keep things sweet using as little sugar as possible. Next we have avocado. Now I'm going to add roughly a tablespoon of fresh avocado, fresh organic avocado. Just wait, let me get that out for you. And the reason for the avocado is to increase the essential fats particularly the omega-3 content. The majority of us are deficient in omega-3. About 95% of us, actually. Okay. Next, we're going to add some kiwi. Zane, I'll get you to add two slices of kiwi fruit. Now, with the kiwi, I do wash it and get as much of that fur off as possible, but I like to keep the skin on there. Two-thirds of the nutrients in kiwi fruit is in the skin. So we want to keep that there. Rich in vitamin C. Vitamin C plays a critical role in fat burning. And Zane, can you help me put some cucumbers in there? Now, like I said to you earlier, just two more, that's it, good boy. With fat burning, we are in a slight deficit when it comes to the density of the foods that we're eating. So we want to keep our skin looking youthful. So we're going to keep the vitamin E content high and leave the cucumbers in there. To make the smoothie a little bit sweet, get the, some potassium and magnesium in there to keep our muscles contracting correctly. We're gonna add some banana. It is messy, but they're yummy. And some kale. Now kale, and a good indicator that something is nutrient dense is it's dark green in color. This is what creates a caloric deficit. So we require more calories or more energy to digest kale than what exists in kale, creating that negative deficit. Just squash it in there, Zane. Doesn't matter if it's messy. And, 
And the final ingredient is green apple. Green apple goes great with most smoothies. It adds sweetness to it, adds vitamins and minerals to it, nutrients. And I am particular with the skin. There's eosolic acid in the skin. And this particular acid is not only a great fat burner, you wanna put that in there, Zane? But it's also great at muscle preservation. And a big concern when you're cutting fat is, are you going to lose any of that hard-earned muscle that you've been working so hard to achieve and acquire in the gym? Okay, you gonna help me press down on that? Whoa. Okay, that's nice and blended up. Now keep in mind that the smoothies that we're making are never just for you. They're not an adults only smoothie. These are for everybody. The whole family can enjoy these. The protein is not a concern for the kids. The preservatives in takeaway food, however, are a major concern. So now you have a smoothie that does target fat loss, but at the same time, we're not neglecting all the other important things that we want to get from superfoods. So there you have it guys, enjoy your smoothies, stay tuned because there'll be plenty more to come.